What is going on, you guys? My name is Colton, and, we and welcome back to another trucking vlog. We are on I-26 East. We are heading to Somerville, South Kakalaki. Somerville, South Carolina to pick up uh, children's clothes. Gerber, something about, ch I believe it's children's clothes. Yeah, something like that. And taking it up to the Ross Distribution Center up at Fort Mill, South Carolina. Which, not the not the one you guys saw, it's the other one. I don't think I've shown you guys that place. It's uh, it's the one on Carowinds Boulevard, the one right there on the borderline. Uh, Carowinds theme parks right there and everything, so. Which, by the way, Carowinds is a lot of fun, so. But anyway, that's where we're taking this load to. I've just got back from Jacksonville. It was the same load you guys already seen. Am I going to get bypassed or is it closed? Oh, it's closed. All right. Whoopee. Um, you already seen it's from uh, Baxter in Marion, North Carolina to Jacksonville, Florida. And they gave me this load. So I deadheaded from Jacksonville four hours north all the way up here to I-26 to come and get this load. Now, here's the thing. I have enough hours to make it because it's only going to be about, give or take, maybe two and a half hours roughly from here to final. And I'll have enough hours to get there tonight, basically. Or like, yeah, tonight. My appointment's at 1 o'clock. It's 11.30 right now. My ETA to get there is about 12 o'clock. So, give or take, it's going to be, uh, you know how it is. I try to be there about an hour early, but you know, you, you know how that is. I, sh I should be there tonight if I plan on doing it. It's a 24-hour drop. For tomorrow so I could stop literally anywhere along this interstate drive my roughly two hours back or two hours to Ross's to deliver this honestly if it's you know I could time it at 8 o'clock I can arrive there at 8 o'clock because if you arrive there before the planners are not there at uh, at work so you're just gonna be sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting and up there that Ross's, there's really no parking up there at all. There are no truck stops around there. So really, uh, Jesus, do you think you got enough trucks of it? Or no, not enough trucks, but enough uh, DOT officers? <laughs> Anywho, there's not enough parking up there. There's, there's really, there's no truck stop around there. So, I think that's what we're going to end up doing is probably stopping somewhere along I-26. There's a couple pilots along this interstate. There's a Loves, and then there's another Loves on I-77 when you hit north, when you go north. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It depends on what time I get out of here. We'll see. Because I-26, this horrible interstate. Well, either way, it's a beautiful day very beautiful day I am having a problem with this truck so I don't remember if you remember my battery on this truck depleted last Monday I plugged it in for over the three-day weekend Tuesday it was Tuesday they, they jump-started it and three days of sit still the battery died and ever since then the, this truck has not been right so I'm thinking the battery might be low even though it is showing 14.2 it's just not acting right it, it when it's on optimized idle it doesn't automatically start back up it tries to it struggles but it won't it won't do it so i guess this truck will have to be taken into the shop when i get back and another thing sunday this sunday i will be driving my truck this truck not that trailer uh, patriotic red white and blue veterans trailer in a parade in Claremont we're because this week is National Truck Driver Appreciation Week and my old high school is kicking off their homecoming and they need a there's a big old parade going on they need a truck from cargo to be in it and they chose me to do it so because of that I will be uh, driving the truck in a parade, and I'll probably bring you guys along too and show you what it's what it's going to be like. I think it's going to be pretty cool. 
I've never done it. I've been wanting to drive a truck in a parade. Anyway, guys, we are about 17 miles from the exit to get off. So I will catch back up with you whenever we get closer. Alrighty, guys, we are about four miles from our exit. Technically, like seven miles from our destination. And yeah, we'll be picking up this load. More than likely, I can already tell you, they're probably out at lunch. That's why I have a one o'clock appointment, but I'd rather show up an hour early. Because, shoot, I'll go ahead and do my lunch while I'm there. Might as well. That's how I usually do it. I mean, I like getting to a customer an hour early. I don't like it being on time to me. Being To me, being on time is late. That's just how I am. I like being an hour early, 30 minutes early. Because then you check in and then they get you in the door, then boom, you're there on time. As long as this tablet right here, at least, as long as you tell, you know, as long as you tell your company that uh, you arrived on time, it's all that counts. But they have appointments for a reason. That's the, <laughs> that's the reason why they do it. You know, they got appointments for a reason. Oh, I hate that stuff. Yeah, I-26 is nothing but construction. Like, they are, I guess they're planning on widening this whole interstate to six lanes. Because right up... One and three quarter miles. Take exit 194 on the right to road 16. Then take the first left. Because right up here is um, six lane. And then in Charleston, it's eight lane, I believe, or six lanes. It's six lanes. So this is the only section. So yeah, they're widening this section. So if you're taking I-26, just be careful. One mile ahead, take exit 194 and then turn left on Jedburg Road, Route 16 East. Jedburg Road. Aha, I see. Okay, so we got to get off, go across the interstate, and then we're going on a little access road on the other side. Okay, that sounds cool with me. Truck restriction next 28 miles. Yep. Can't be in that left lane. Also, this road is really bad because containers. Container drivers. Take exit 194. A different on the right. Point three road miles 16, ahead. Then take, take exit 194 left. and then turn left on Jedburg Road, Route 16 East. Container drivers are a different breed of drivers. Let's put it that way, too. Take exit 194 and then turn left on Jedburg Road, Route 16 East. They're trying to get to the port <laughs> as quick as they can. Hey, I didn't know there was a flying J here. Ahead. Turn left on Jedburg Road, Route 16 East. Oh, shoot. I didn't know there was turn a flying left at the traffic light, then take the first right. Oh, shoot. There's a flying J here. I did not know that. It didn't show up on my GPS. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, turn left on Jedburg Road, Route 16 East. Should I just hang out for a little bit? Mm, I don't know if I want to hang out. I don't know if I want to hang out. Do I want to hang out for a little bit before I go? I don't know what I want to do. Nah, we'll go ahead and go get loaded. Shoot! Shoot! We can stop there after we get loaded overnight there. Point three miles ahead. Turn right on drop off drive route 1255 east. That's a good name for a road, drop off drive. That might be it. No, that's contain. I'm not going to contain. Turn right on drop off drive. Huh. I did not know that Flying J was there. That's brand new. Turn right on drop off drive route 1255 east. Smoking gringos. Smoking gringos. Oh, In right. two and a quarter miles, turn left on Trade Zone Boulevard. Trade Zone Boulevard. Wow, I did not. I, I look. I literally did not know that Flying J was there. It's cool. That's really, that's really cool. Uh, no, uh, music. There we go. <laughs> Every time that goes off, it uh, turns the radio on. I mean, shoot, if they'd take me early, hell, I'll take, I'll go in early. Why did, why not? God, okay, that was bumpy. 
worst case, if they don't, they, you know, they don't let you or whatever, then so be it. I can turn around and go to the Flying J. One mile ahead, turn left on Trade Zone Boulevard. What are the drivers doing there? Hey, did you see that? They were like literally like neck and neck next to each other. Are they arguing? Probably. Turn left on Trade Zone Boulevard. Go on, car. I can't make it with that with you sitting there. Which result would you like? Cancel. Point three miles ahead. Turn left. Then turn left. In one quarter mile, arrive at 200 Trade Zone Boulevard on the left. Wow, it's really back here in the neck of the wood. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's really back here in the neck of the wood. Literally. Dang. What are you, what? what kind of place is this? Turn left. Then turn left. Well, I can't arrive in there. Arriving at 200 Trade Zone Boulevard on the left. Shipping receiving this way, okay. Point three miles ahead, turn left. In one quarter mile, make a U turn. No, we're not going yet. Yet. Not yet. Calm yourself. When possible, make a U turn. Turn left. Aha, Gerber Children's Wear. All right, we have arrived. Why does this place look familiar? I've never picked up here, but it looks so familiar. 0.3 miles to 200 Trade Zone Boulevard. Shipping and receiving. When possible, make a U turn. All right, guys, there's a guard, the so I'm going to catch back up with you. All righty, well, that was a really nice security guy. I mean, he. Kind of not. Nice. It's pretty nice. So this side is receiving, the other side shipping, and the other. Approaching 200 Trade Zone Boulevard. I'm already here, woman. Thank you. Huh. I have never been asked that. What is your license, dri driver's license number? Which I've been asked that many times. Or your employee ID number. We don't have employee ID numbers, but I've never been I've never been asked that before. That's a that is a hot new one. And he said like say 92, 93, somewhere around there. Something like that. I have never I have never been asked that before. That's that's an interesting one. So basically all this building here, I'm assuming it's just children wear. Children's clothes. Wally World comes here looks like 92 93 down this way a little bit that's probably it right there I would say that's probably it right there if my guess all right guys let me go check in and I will uh, come back out All right, guys, we're going to dock door 75, which is way down here. All right. When possible, make a U-turn. And they specifically said, obviously wait for the green light, but do not pull out until I get a phone call. All right, dock door 75. Oh, this is going to be lovely. Look at how tight this is going to be. Eh, we get it done. <sighs> I hate that thing. More room. Oh 
Oh boy, there's those lines. I hate places with no lines. Well, I guess that flying J right down the street is gonna be where I'm gonna go when I get done. More than likely. She didn't say nothing about sliding tandems or disconnecting Red Airline or anything, so. Let's go check it real quick. I was not expecting, hang on. I was not expecting them to hook up that quick. Good God, I mean, as soon as I, as soon as I back to the dock, they locked me already. Well, that's good. Alrighty, well, um, yeah, there you go. Back to the dock, so I'll catch up with you whenever we get loaded and head to wherever I decide to stop at. Alrighty, guys, we are loaded. My point was one o'clock. It is currently 107 and I'm pulling out. So yeah, they took me early. They ended up taking me early and here comes a car. Come on, I gotta swing out there. Come on. They took me early. They didn't take too they didn't take too long. And since it's only one o'clock, I'll just go on further. In two and a quarter miles, turn left on South Carolina 16. Yeah, I was going to stop here at this Flying J right here and uh, overnight here, but shoot. If my ETA to arrive in Rock Hill is 4 o'clock tonight, 4 p.m., shoot, I could stop at the Loves of freaking Columbia if I chose to. I mean, it's a 24-hour drop for... It's a 24-hour drop for tomorrow, not today. So... I mean, my only issue, my only, my only problem I have with this is if I did deliver it today, which I'm sure I'm able to, but if I was able to, there's no parking around there. Now the road going into Ross's, I mean, it's a main road, but you see trucks parked along the edges of it. I guess I could do that, but the problem is I don't have, I don't have much food in here. I didn't go grocery shopping last weekend, so I don't know. I'm thinking maybe that Love's in Columbia. I'm thinking about stopping there. Um, then there's a pilot not too far from there, a little ways up the... There's actually two before we get to the big eight-lane highway in Rock Hill. I don't know, we'll just have to, we'll just have to go and see, see how it goes, really. I mean, it's, oh my god. Road, turn left on South Carolina 16, then wow. take the first right. That's a hell of a bump. That's, that's the one thing, it's lenient. I mean, the, the, the these couple loads that I've had, the one yesterday and the one today, they're so freaking lenient. It's like, I just don't know what to do. I mean, okay, so if I, ouch. So if I don't deliver today, which is fine, if I don't deliver today, 
I mean, I'd have to be there eh, probably about 8 o'clock because that's when planters get in. I didn't even slide my tandems. I left the tandems exactly where it is. It's only 15,000 pounds in the box, so we're not super heavy. We're not light, but we're not super heavy at all. Turn Shoot. left at the stop sign, then take the first right. Oh, this is stupid. They should have at least have like a stoplight here. You would think. Uh, there's one up there. I was messing with some buttons on my seat. One of them I didn't know what it did. There we go. It slides it forward and back. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a heck of a uh, heck of a way out right here. A little busy intersection right here. My God, you gotta play freaking Frogger to get across this highway. Oh my gosh. Wow. Absolute Frogger. Oh, that BMW screwed Central. He's got it. That Lexus, that freaking Lexus. <laughs> he just gonna block the whole highway. <laughs> okay, so we got after that car. Got it after that car there. Turn right at the traffic light. Woo, that's a bad little intersection right there. That's a, that's a nasty, nasty intersection right there. Oh, man. All right, let's boot scoot boogie. Let's get out of here, boys. Woo. Pulled over. Ah, must have been in the wrong lane. Yep, South Carolina will get you for that. Continue on I-26. South Carolina, they will definitely get you for that. If you're in the wrong lane, woo they will definitely get you. Most Actually, most places actually will. It's just South Carolina is actually very, very picky about it. So here's my here's my dilemma. If depending on how far I go, I can like I said, I can literally go all the way. I'm only two hours and forty minutes from it. But let's say I go all the way, then I have to wait till eight a.m. to get a load, unless they give me something today. Other dilemma is if I stop short, which I probably will, I'm probably going to stop at that Loves in Columbia. If I stop there, I have to plan, because if I get up at like, let's say three, where I normally do about three or four o'clock in the morning, and then I get rolling, I'm going to have to wait up there until I get a load. That's the only problem. I have to wait until I get the load, get a load. See with the problem because, yeah, so normally at the three hour mark, they normally get you a load, but because tomorrow is a, because this load is a 24 hour drop for tomorrow, I don't think they're going to get me anything because they're going, they don't know if I'm going to stop or if I'm going to continue going. Now, if I get there and and they get the notification I arrived, then, then yes, they definitely, yes, they definitely will. Look at all this. They're expanding this highway to probably six lanes, because that's six lanes back there, so it's probably going, it's going to be a six lane highway. All this freaking construction. 
demolish of trees and stuff. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Well, I'll catch back up with you whenever I decide uh, what I'm going to end up doing. Alrighty guys, we have made it to Fort Mill, South Carolina. We're going to go ahead and actually deliver this load to Fort Mill at the Ross Distribution Center and Carowinds Boulevard. We're going to go ahead and deliver that today rather than waiting till tomorrow to do it. We got another load. The other load, I got an original load. The original load was from the drop or the Claremont terminal to uh, Martair, Florida, or some some kind of weird place in Florida. I've never heard of it. It's somewhere all the way down at Miami area. And literally while driving here, it got canceled. The load got canceled, so they ended up giving me another load. So they got me a load going from the Ross Distribution Center, which is here, up to Romeoville, Illinois. Yay, that's gonna be fun. And they want it there tomorrow by 1600 or 4 p.m. Great, I get to do that lovely run tomorrow, which I don't, I can't remember if it's, I can't remember if it's like eight, nine, 10 hour, eight, eight or nine hours, I think, to get up to Romeoville, Illinois, I believe, I think, I'm not 100%. So we need to get as far as we can. We've got three and a bit hours left on the clock. However, I don't, I might, I might be uh, shoulder parking it tonight. Don't know. Might have to do that tonight. We will see how that one goes. Yeah, I got bypass anyway. So we'll see. We're only like three miles from this DC now, so. In one and a half miles, take exit 90 on the right to US 21, then take the first right. It's not that, as far as I know, I'm not sure if, if it's not a far trip, then what I'll end up doing is just overnighting here and leaving first thing in the morning. I don't know. I don't know what I, how, how I want to do it. I don't know. We'll see. So right up across the bridge and a little ways down, maybe like a half a mile down there is, is North Carolina line. And I'll try to show you, but it's going to be hard to show you, but Carowinds is off to your left. Take exit 90 on the right to US 21. Turn right at the traffic light. I uh, can't really see it from over here. We're too banked. Nah, you can't really see it. But Carowinds, believe me, Carowinds, it's just like right over there. Okay, and like I said, it's only like maybe, well, 1.2 miles, so it's not far. So we're literally dropping off and then picking up. We're dropping off and picking up this load. Okay. Don't whack me in the face, microphone or in CB. One mile, turn right on Central Carolina's Parkway. No trucks allowed. So if you are delivering here, this is the first entrance, but this is the Ross employee slash visitor entrance. No trucks allowed. You'll obviously see that. So. You don't want to go to, oh yeah, I was right. Right lane. I hope this place is not packed because normally it's a long entrance drive to get in there and it sometimes gets backed up pretty bad, but at four o'clock i don't think it would be backed up that much but yeah you could be you'd be surprised let's go deliver yes i have arrived thank you for noticing so there's a lot i know it says no parking here well I, well see a lot of trucks park right here along this edge right here and that's what I was considering doing. Oh, 
Oh, good. All right, let me go check in with security and I'll be right back with you. All righty, guys. We have picked up our load that's going up to Romeoville, Illinois. But only one slight little issue. They want it delivered by 1600 or 4 p.m. tomorrow. There is no way it's going to happen because as of right now, I'm sitting at 13. Left at the traffic light. 13 hours to get up there minus the 30 minute delay, but 13 hours to get up there. Ain't going to happen. I can tell you that right this very moment. Do what you can. Don't push yourself. That's the way I look at it. Don't push yourself whenever it's, uh, yeah, just don't push yourself. 